Okay, I'm back with another follow-up video on the fine woven case after having used it for a little over two weeks now. I have it here in the taupe color, of course, for the 15 Pro Max that I have in natural titanium. And I wasn't actually expecting to do so many videos on just a case, but this year Apple have done some interesting things with materials. Of course, the 15 Pro lineup of phones have moved on from stainless steel and are now using titanium for the rails. And Apple have gotten rid of leather, so we have this new synthetic material, cloth-like material that Apple call fine woven. So I did a video last week on how the taupe colored case has held up after one week, and I want to do another follow-up video, not just on how the case has held up in another week of use, but I also want to clean the case to see how it cleans up because it is a fabric material. So I plan to brush it with some uh, dish soap, rinse it, dry it, and see how it uh, cleans up and whether it looks a little bit more new. So uh, after the second week using it, um, it's gone through a little bit more of a stress test because last week my wife and I spent out in Utah and Arizona doing some hiking in Zion National Park. We visited Grand Canyon and uh, we also uh, stopped by Sedona. So uh, the whole time I used the taupe colored case and use it just as I normally would with a ton of usage actually because I recorded a lot of video clips and a lot of photos um, with the iPhone. And uh, it is a stressful situation. And uh, as you can see, there is some staining across the side of the case. Not too many scratches. Um, there are some light scratches over here and here. And I did put it in and out of a tripod with a little tripod mount. So the phone was going in and out of that. It was in and out of my pockets, of course. And I held it in my hand a lot for uh, using all trails on the trails out there. Um, so really heavy usage, and this is how the case is held up. Uh, the edges of the case continue to darken a little bit. Um, you can see in the high wear area. I'll do some close-ups in the B-roll. Um, and you can see on the top edge where it has not darkened, where my hand does not hold it. So uh, <laughs> the fine woven cases do kind of develop, develop their own patina. I can tell that it's going to darken. Um, these dark stains around the bottom right edge and the top right edge appear to be some kind of water stain. So I did take the case into the Virgin Narrows River hike uh, in Zion National Park. Beautiful hike, highly recommended. Um, and I held the case in my hand. It didn't really get wet except for one part where I had it in the top pocket, top pocket of my jumper. And the water level was pretty high, so it got a little bit wet down here. The rest of the water stains, I'm actually not quite sure where it came from, but uh, Again, it's a stressful situation to put the case through. Now, the biggest thing is that at a certain point uh, during the hiking, let me wipe the screen over here, I once again dropped the phone in the case. The case is pretty slippery, so the case slipped out of my hand uh, onto some rock. And as you can see, the tempered glass screen protector that I have from Taurus has cracked. So it might have landed over here on this edge. So there is some splintering over there, pretty strong. And the, case, the screen protector has also splintered uh, kind of all along it. You can see it over there in the window light and there's some cracking over there. Uh, you can also see at the top right edge of the case, and again, I'll do some close-up zoom, that it had made contact uh, against the rock surface on this edge. And over here, you can see that the um, resin material or whatever that they use to cover up the fine woven material along the edges, that textured material has peeled up. And you can kind of see over here in the close-up that it's actually a very thin and tiny material there. And right underneath, it appears to be the regular kind of fine woven weave uh, that is on the rest of the case. So that is a little disappointing. Um, I was hoping that this side material was a little bit thicker and more durable. Uh, the first time I dropped the case, it fell on, uh, the first time I dropped the phone, it fell on a smooth tiled surface and there was no damage to the case. So this time on the rough surface of uh, some sandstone, the case did get a little bit scratched up. Normal, you know, not a big deal. The phone, of course, fortunately is perfectly fine and I'm pretty sure underneath the screen protector that the screen is fine as well. Um, I haven't replaced the screen protector yet with the second one that comes in the Taurus pack because it does uh, come in a two pack uh, because I wanted to come back home and show on video what the damage to the phone looks like. So uh, again, kind of a mixed bag with the fine woven case. I do like the taupe color. I have the evergreen color here as well that I have not been using, uh, mostly because I like the taupe color a little bit more, but 
you know, I, I might switch to the evergreen. But um, yeah, I'm going off on a tangent there. But overall, <laughs> it's crazy because I do like the case. I want to like the case, but it just is a little bit slippery. Now, you know, I've dropped the phone several times, which is kind of uh, more than usual. And again, to the credit of the case, it's slim. It has protected my phone. Um, I do like how thin it is, the clickiness of the buttons, the, you know, my cutouts are nice, but, um, you know, uh, it just doesn't seem uh, up to snuff, especially, you know, um, you know, if you're a fan of uh, leather, you know, like this case does seem like it will develop a patina. I'm curious to see how it'll clean up, which is what I'm going to do after I stop this section of the recording and then I'll come back to show the results of um, how all of these stains clean up. Um, so it does kind of develop its own patina, but um, being that it's kind of a synthetic material, to my eyes, the patina is not that uh, pleasing, and this is only after two weeks. Um, if it was leather material, I feel like natural materials, leather, uh, we want to kind of uh, get some scratches or darkens in color. Uh, it's, you know, it's a matter of opinion, but to me, I think the natural material wearing adds some character to natural materials, even to like, you know, tools, if you have uh, hammers or drills and it kind of develops some scratches and things like that, it kind of adds to the character of that. If you have a nice leather belt, tool belt, things like that. Um, with the fine woven, um, I'm not that pleased with the darkening and the patina. So anyway, uh, those are just some thoughts and this is how it looks after two weeks. So I'm going to wash it, uh, brush it with some dish soap, uh, rinse it, let it dry and I'll come back to show the results of how that looks. Okay, I'm back after having cleaned up the taupe fine woven case, and I have to say that on first impression, the case has cleaned up really well. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. So all I did is I used a soft bristle toothbrush, a little bit of um, dish soap, and lightly brushed along the case. Um, I didn't want to be too aggressive or brush too hard because I don't know how the material will handle it, but um, based on the cleanup that I'm seeing here, I think it actually cleaned up very well. So you can see along the sides where it was darkening, where my fingers made a lot of contact, it has lightened up a lot. If you look closely, there still is a little bit of uh, darkening there, I think, maybe because the fine woven material has kind of flattened along that edge. But yeah, to my eyes, it looks uh, almost practically brand new. Uh, some of the scratches here, are still there and I think some fine scratches over there but um, that doesn't really bother me because like I said I think a little bit of scratches on the uh, cases is pretty normal from normal use just like the scratch on the corner and I took that opportunity also to install a new screen protector the second one from Taurus which I'm pretty happy with um, that's how it looks so the phone looks fresh no long-term damage done from dropping it in the fine woven case uh, to the phone itself. The case, of course, has the little corner scratch that um, that is going to be permanent. But um, yeah, the screen protector is really nice. It does have a black border around the edge, which might um, cut into your uh, content a very little bit. But from my installation for both of my protectors, um, I'm showing on the camera the little L's on the corner to show you that um, the content really is not cut off. Maybe at the very top edge, that little green uh, green icon, recording icon, is very slightly cut off, but um, overall, uh, overall pretty good screen protector, so uh, happy with that. And uh, yeah, so I guess my final uh, impressions on the fine woven case is that um, still a little slippery. You know, the back surface to me does feel uh, nice and soft, but I find myself kind of losing grip on it sometimes. Uh, after I hold it for a while, like I explained in the first impressions video, it does feel like it gets a little tackier, that, that rubber side. Um, I do wish that rubber rubberized kind of material was thicker and not just a very fine surface coating because um, if you scratch that up, it looks like it can peel away. But um, 
yeah, I'm, I'm actually pleased with how it has cleaned up. Um, still mixed thoughts on the fine woven case overall, but happy with how it's cleaned up. So the darkening after only two weeks is a little bit discouraging, uh, but if your case is having a little bit of darkening, um, whichever color you have, uh, try giving it a little bit of a uh, cleanup and, um, you know, maybe it seems like might have to be a thing that you do every month or so to keep the, the case looking fresh. So I might be back maybe in another six months or so to see how the case looks after a more longer term use. But um, yeah, that's my impressions and that's how the case has cleaned up. That's the hope that helps some of you out there and thanks for watching.